Floyd is now 11 and 0, and he takes on Angelo Nunez, who was 14, 11 and 3 at the time. This was Nunez's actual retirement fight, and Floyd ended up retiring him in the third round by TKO. Now Floyd was fighting on the undercard of the champion at the time, Gennaro Hernandez, who Floyd had been calling out already. At the end, um, you get to see Floyd campaign again for fighting the champ, Gennaro Hernandez, and he shows that he was a student of the game. Pretty boy Floyd is uh, ready to go. He's got, oh, he's got that smile on the ring. I tell you, there's a kid who loves his work. He loves getting up into the ring. Just by way of sidelight, let me point out that I think that booing might have been as much meant for Roger Mayweather as it was for Floyd, because the fans here and a largely Mexican-American clientele here at the Olympic Auditorium remember how Roger Mayweather used to come here to the Olympic and knock off Mexican fighter after Mexican fighter. They used to call him the Mexican assassin in those days. And it may have something, as we look at Nunez, it may have something to do with the fact that Floyd Mayweather, young Floyd, is campaigning vigorously to meet Gennaro Hernandez, should Hernandez be victorious this evening. Already calling himself a champion of the world, Floyd Mayweather. His idols, Floyd Sr., his father, Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali. He describes himself in the ring, Floyd does, as a boxer puncher. He's using elusive head movement as a pro. His best punch is the right hand, naturally right-handed. Good feint, look at that good feint from Mayweather. It shook Nunez out of his boots. Oh, the right hand to the body. Keep him up. Well, a little lower than the body. Angelo Nunez, screen left. White Mayweather with his back to you right now. This is scheduled for 10 rounds. Oh, see Mayweather get down and come up with that hopping jab. Brings the jab up. Does he do things you think, Sean, that are reckless in the ring? Yes, he does. Every fighter does. But yeah, he, he does even more so because of the showboating, the keeping his hands low, the boxing around, but he can, with fast hands and a hard punch, he's been able to back it up. The box off to get to the Olympic Games. Nunez slowing now with his blows. That left hook was very slow, but he threw and easily avoided by Mayweather, who's fighting well off the ropes here. You know, we sometimes lose track of the defense of Rock, uh, Floyd Mayweather. He's showing it here as he counter punches off the ropes. Yeah, but he learned it from Roger, who was an outstanding defensive fighter. Watch the top of the head. Uh, uh, getting and that's it, Lumaret. So Angelo wiping at the blood to get it out of his eye, and Moret immediately jumped in and, and called the fight. fight. He told them that he was going to look at it closely. Look at that cut. Well, the crowd reacting badly for a variety of reasons. They weren't for Floyd Mayweather in the first place, and they weren't privy to what we heard when Lumerette went into the corner and said, I'm going to watch it closely, so, and maybe some of them can't see just how bad that cut is. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Well, not a popular <laughs> You know, I suspect these the boxing fans. fans don't like the showboating and the confidence in him. They want to see it proved. Well, he'll have a chance, especially if he gets to fight this man in the future. That's who he's already talking about fighting, and that's Gennaro Hernandez, the WBC Super Featherweight Champion, who, of course, later on tonight will be defending his crown against Carlos Famous Hernandez. A real backyard brawl here for Los Angeles. These two grew up just down the block from each other, if you can believe that and uh, have vacationed with each other, had their families over for backyard barbecues, that type of thing. Very interesting. There's Gennaro, consummate professional, getting ready for tonight. And a kid who is turning into a consummate professional is Floyd Mayweather, who's standing by now with Al Bernstein. All right, thank you, Rich. I'm here with Floyd and his uncle Jeff, and Roger was around here somewhere, but we'll concentrate on you because you got the job done tonight. Really a very complete performance by you. Um, I'd like to say, first of all, I'd like to thank God and I also like to thank um, Nietzsche, my sponsors, and I also like to thank um, Groovy, Groovy, Groovy Styles. And um, <laughs> you got the thank yous down pat already. You guys have been teaching him everything, haven't you? Well, you know, I gotta get everything down pat off the top. You know, say thank you. <laughs> you, you guys cut us off, but um, never, I'd never I do wanna, that, Floyd. But you know, I gotta thank God. But you know, really come out here and do what I've done tonight, and uh, all right. thank all my family back in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, 
And thank you guys for having me on. All right, well, you've got us in there, too. Let's take a look at the left hand that started the trouble for Nunez. You threw some great left hands here tonight as well as everything else. Let's take a look at a comment for us. I'm, basically, I'm leaving with the hook. You know, um, Sugar Ray Robinson done it. Joe yeah. Lewis done it. So why can't do it? That looked like Floyd Patterson against Ingemar Johansson. You wouldn't remember that one. I'm, I'm the only one in the ring old enough to remember that. Well, you know, I watch, I watch a lot of tapes of okay. Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali, a lot of those great guys, Sugar Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy, yeah. you know, the best guys. But, uh, you know, I want to thank my, my uncle Roger and Jeff for being behind me. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just proud of my performance tonight. Now, you've talked about fighting for a world championship uh, even toward the beginning or middle of next year. Do you still think you're right on, on track for that? I believe I'm ready. My uncles believe I'm ready. But I need to, you know, polish up with a couple more, you know, 10 and 12 rounds. Then I'll be ready for the winner of this, this championship fight tonight. What do you think? Well, that's a, well, I think you're performing very well, and I think that maybe in the middle of next year you may be there. What about this fight tonight, uh, Gennaro against Carlos? They're both good fighters. Are you leaning toward one or the other? I'm not leaning towards none of them. Both of them are good fighters, and um. Hopefully the best man win. I don't take enough for none of these guys. Hopefully I can fight one of these guys, you know, in, down the future. All right, Jeff Mayweather, when is he going to be ready for a world title match? Uh, well, I think around uh, April or May, as long as he come around and they keep bringing him these tough guys in which he gets some rounds in, um, I think that he'll be ready. He'll be ready for these guys. I mean, skill-wise, he's ready to compete on any level right now. But um, it's just a matter of getting the season in, getting the experience by going in with tough guys. All right, congratulations to your very good win. Let's take, uh, we're going to get Lou Moret over here. Congratulations on your win, Floyd. Still no signs of Floyd ducking as he continues his march to getting a title shot against Gennaro Hernandez. Um, he fights the 16-4-2 Hector Arroyo in a scheduled 10-round fight. At that time, Arroyo was dropped on the final second of the fourth round. Floyd ends up stopping Arroyo in the fifth round by TKO. You can listen at the end when Floyd addresses some of the haters at that time. Check it out. Both of these men have Olympic experience. Arroyo, a member of the Puerto Rican Olympic team in 1988, the team that went to the Seoul Olympic Games. Yeah, we just saw Floyd Mayweather crank up the double left hook against Arroyo. He's a pure puncher, Floyd Mayweather. He is a guy who can knock you out, and he feels that way. And in that sense, he reminds me a lot of Oscar De La Hoya in that when De La Hoya became a pro, he really used his power well, and that's what Mayweather is doing. Lots of punching and having himself a much better round. And that was a nice right hand to the head of Mayweather. That one landed. <laughs> Best round of the fight for a Royal by far, the first one he won. Well, Mayweather looks to answer as we come to the end of round four, scheduled for ten. Arroyo was sent to the canvas on the final punch of round four. Just as we were going to break, the timing was awful for us, but here, you will see Arroyo waging a battle and gets whacked by a great left hook and then a right hand by Mayweather and went down right at the bell, got to his feet, looked a little wobbly, but he will go on. So let's see if Mayweather can capitalize on that now. Normally when a boxer knocks down another boxer out, it's a 10-8 round. Did you feel Arroyo had won that round up until that last sequence? I actually did, but I'm going to give Mayweather a 10-8 round in any case because of the severity of the knockdown. He is whacking Arroyo. This fight could well be over here in the fifth round. And Arroyo had to get up because in Mississippi you can't be saved by the bell except in the final round. And now Arroyo trying to tackle Mayweather. Good, good work by Freddie Steinwender, standing eight count. And that is in effect in Mississippi. That's an appropriate call, and this is why I like the rule. He's penalized already, but now it gives him a chance to see if he's going to be all right. Some would argue the other way, and they'd say, gee, Mayweather could have finished him off without that standing. He comes, but I like it. Now, there is a three knockdown rule, and there's plenty of time left in round five. Body work by Floyd Mayweather. That's the part that really impresses me because most youngsters wouldn't be doing it. And he knows the combinations to use. The uppercut started it. And that'll go. Fred Stonewall in the third says this is over in effect. Fans don't like it, but I think it's a good 
stoppage because I don't think Arroyo is going to rebound from that. Well, you know, Floyd Mayweather didn't endear himself to this crowd. I think primarily because of the, the some of the showboating early. This is not his home turf, but even the people that are a little distressed should give him his due because he performed exceedingly well in that ring. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Floyd Mayweather got the job done here. Uh, Hector Royo was kind of rough on the inside. You guys had clashes of heads. Was that style a little difficult to figure out for a round or two? Well, well first I want to thank my sponsors, Nietzsche and um, Groovy Styles. But um, he was kind of awkward. He was, you know, a real, a real tough guy. But um, I stayed focused, and um, God was behind me, and I took care of my job tonight. You did stay focused, and I thought part of that was the how well you counterpunched. Let's look at the first knockdown, and this will give us a good idea. You kept your head about yourself, and you also knew what punches to go to. Describe this for us. Right now, I'm just taking my time. He, he was in there, you know, sh he, he, he was in, we worked, there, we worked on that in the back of the dressing room, but he was sitting right there shooting his whole load. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, just catching him on my shoulder and my arm. He landed a few good shots, but, you know, the champion prevailed in the end. And you knocked him down with the left hook before, and then here we're going to see that left hook again. That's the same knockdown. Nice combination. Man, and now the end of the fight, Floyd. What's that, what's that pretty? Look at it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. I like your humility. That was <laughs> Thank you. Now, let me ask you something. This fight, you came out, you showboated a little bit earlier. You do that. That's part of your thing. Obviously, it rankled the crowd a little bit. They weren't thrilled with that. Do you, do you worry that that's going to create animosity even with the officials? Listen, they hate Camacho, too. It's some guys you All love, right. some guys you hate. Um, yeah, that's what sells tickets. And I'm here to sell tickets, you know. I'm a performer. That's what I do. I sell myself. I don't, I don't need nobody to sell me. I can sell myself. Okay, so you don't mind them being a little annoyed with you? I let them boo. It's, it's no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with that. And that's a part of boxing. Some love you, some hate you. But I love myself. Well, I'll tell you what. Well, we know that, and I'll tell you what. You look good tonight, so you have a lot to love. Uh, thank you. And I just want to, you know, say hi to my dad in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and say hello to all my fans back in Las Vegas and Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm sure your dad's watching. All right, Floyd Mayweather, happy with his performance. Why not? Let's go back to Bob Papa. Floyd now moves forward by knocking out the 17-4-1 Sam Garrod at the time in the second round of this fight. Garrod was also down in the first. Take a look at it. Recuperar al tiempo que hacen una pirueta o después de dar el doble salto mortal. Por distancia con la izquierda, ahí está. Dio la distancia, dio la mano, se le vino a girar y el pasito atrás y ahí a la contra le cogió. Pues le ha salvado ahí la campana. Ponga bien con la derecha arriba, Floyd Mayweather. Vamos a ver si se ha recuperado o no. Vuelve a meter la derecha, Sammy Girar, arriba al rostro de Floyd Mayweather, deja la guarda de Berta, le llegan las manos de Mayweather. Ahora viene la de Mayweather y esa derecha ha vuelto a sentar en la lona a Sammy Girar. Maldísima, hay que ver cómo de pasar un mal rato invertido la situación. Floyd Mayweather le ha puesto al borde del cabo a Sammy Girar. Oye, queda en segundo, lo está pasando muy mal Sammy Girar, está tirando todo. Floyd Mayweather, la avalancha le está llegando a Sammy Girard, se vuelve a marchar a la lona, imposible para este hombre parar el vendaval que le estaba mandando Floyd Mayweather, pues no, se acabó el combate, se acabó el combate y bien parado el combate, como ha sabido darle la vuelta a la situación este hombre, Floyd Mayweather, a la situación.